Okay, so yes, there is a person in the driver's seat here, but the car is driving itself. And today, it takes off on a historic cross-country track from San Fran to New York. I drive with my knee. I don't, that doesn't count, though. Yes, the wheel is spinning, no hands on it. But don't worry, everybody. Don't worry, Ron and Rob. I know you're both concerned because there are safeguards in place, as in real human beings. But still, this is a massive test of autonomous car technology. It is a real thing. Mm -hmm. And ABC's Aditi Roy took a test drive in San Francisco, where the car is gearing up for his coast-to-coast -coast drive. Hi, Aditi. Hi there, Paula. Good morning to all of you. It's a very exciting morning here in Mountain View. Take a look at this car. It looks like any other you'd see on the road, but take a closer look. There's a camera up there on the windshield and down below. Take a look at this sensor, both of which are part of the car's intricate computer system. It does the driving for you. How can I be of service, Detective Spooner? In futuristic sci-fi movies like iRobot and The Minority Report, self-driving cars are everywhere. Revised destination. Now autos on autopilot are revved up and getting ready for our driveways. This looks like any normal car. Pretty much is. Engineers and cutting-edge scientists from Delphi Automotive decking out a fleet of Audi SUVs with cameras, lasers, and radar, all to teach its nearly $53,000 luxury car to drive itself. And this morning, it's taking off on a history-making cross-country trip from San Francisco to New York, covering 3,500 miles in about 10 days. While there will be an operator in the driver's seat at all times in case of trouble, the Delphi technology will do the driving, navigating high-speed highways, twists and turns, and even traffic, all with no human hands on the wheel. If someone comes into your lane really fast, can yeah. these lasers pick it up? Much faster than a human, actually. Really? Yes, absolutely. Here we go. We took one of their cars on a test drive. Right here, we're about to merge, and it's doing OK. Its turns were textbook perfect, and so was the rest of our 8-mile, 36-minute drive through Mountain View, California. The car stopped at lights and changed lanes. The only time the operator had to take over the wheel was when road construction forced us to merge into the next lane. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, the car is set up to drive very conservatively, and that's to make us all feel safe. That was a lot of fun. It was such a neat experience. Another really cool feature of this car, it actually valets itself. It'll drive right up and pick you right up. Dan and Paula, that could save you a lot of money on tips.